It's your girl Chanel Renee. Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. I'm excited about this topic today because some of the men have reached out. <laughs> some of y'all have reached out for me to talk about trauma in your co-parenting relationships. So this video is for you guys so that you can learn how to deal with some of these unfortunate personalities. Let's jump right into it. Thank you so much for subscribing, <laughs> subscribing and sharing this video. Um, thank you so much, thank you so much, um, gentlemen, for sharing this and for subscribing to my channel because I have some goodies in here for you. I will continue to post some goodies in here for you so that you can live your best life. Listen, I am I am really, really, really trying to reach you men because I know y'all don't like to talk and sometimes y'all want to tussle, but sometimes we just need to really kind of get down to the nitty gritty of communicating, um, expression, and really, really dealing with some underlying issues. And so today we're going to talk about dealing with a narcissistic personality with your baby mama, okay? You've got to understand that our narcissist is a medical diagnosis, okay? You can't just go around calling people narcissists, okay? So what I don't do, because I'm not a doctor, I don't go around saying, oh, you know, she's a narcissist or he's a narcissist. What I do say is that some of the things that you're telling me sounds like they have some narcissist ways. I'm not calling them a narcissist, okay? So don't try to go around saying, Chanel said you're a narcissist. I'm not saying that, I don't ever say that. What I do say is that some of those behaviors are reflective of um, some narcissist personality. They may not be a narcissist. They just have, you know, they have, they can be self-absorbed, which is part of the, the <laughs> definition of a narcissist, an inflated sense of self. So a person that's self-absorbed, yeah, they may not be a narcissist, but they're just conceited, okay? So I just want that to get, I want you to get that through your head because if you try to, um, you know, let's for example, walk into a courtroom and say, I want my kids because she's a narcissist. <laughs> and you have no proof of that, obviously. You, they're not gonna listen to anything else you got to say because you sitting up here just spitting stuff and, and you don't have nothing to back it up, okay? So be careful of that. Stop calling your baby mama a narcissist and you don't have no diagnosis, no proof that she is one. But we're gonna talk about these personalities that you may see and why you want to call her a narcissist, all right? So let's jump into it. The first thing is she lacks a sense of self-awareness, okay? She can do all this crazy stuff to you and she don't, she's not aware of it. She's not aware of her behaviors. She's not aware of how she just cussed you out 24 hours ago. She's not aware of it. She's, she just moved on to the next day like it wasn't nothing, okay? She lacks self-awareness. The next thing um, she, she may be, um, perhaps she may do is there's no accountability, okay? Everything that she does that is wrong, that's outright wrong, is your fault. It is never something that she was just wrong on. You know, sometimes we just wrong, right? And that's for all of us, you know, but she is never wrong. It's always something you did. I did that because you did. You hear that all the time? That's that's a trait of a narcissist personality. And the last thing is there's self, she has no self-discipline. She lacks self discipline okay so she's always showing up late to, to pick up the kids and drop off the kids <sighs> seriously you always you always late like you always late okay um you know the the the, the di there's no discipline in the structure so the kids when they come from your house and they go to her house there's no structure homework is not getting done they have no bedtime <laughs> Um, you know, they're barely eating and you know, when they do eat, it's, it's the takeout. She's not cooking. There's not schedule, you know, there's no self-discipline. So ultimately your children don't have any discipline. There's no structure for your children. So that's another, um, personality trait of a narcissistic personality disorder. Again, we're not calling folks narcissists. These are just some of the things that you may experience as a father co-parenting with someone that has these um, 
these attributes. So let me tell you how to deal with that. So when you're dealing with someone that is not aware of how they're treating you, sometimes you may have to keep a journal. Okay, you may have to keep a journal and the journal is not to throw it up in her face all the time. The journal is for you so that you are setting up boundaries and appropriate boundaries that help you maintain your your sense of peace. Okay, um, so you're not losing out here losing your mind. Okay, and perhaps you may be able to see a pattern of certain behaviors and you can kind of know how to move around and how to deal with that. Okay? Because here's the thing about a personality disorder, especially a narcissistic personality disorder, is that there's no cure for it. The person can go get treatment and they will need to continuously get treatment but there's no pill for it. There's no cure for it. It's not like, you, you know, six months they're cured. It's not one of those things. It's a chronic condition that they can get treated for. They can continue to have treatment, which is like therapy. Um, you know, they continue to go to therapy with a qualified person to treat that personality disorder. But yeah, it, it's not no six month thing and then they're cured. There, there's just no, no treatment for it. So for you on the other end of that co-parenting situation, you've got to know how to just navigate around it. So keeping a journal is really, really, really great. Um, no accountability. Um, you know, everything is your fault. You feel like everything is your fault. You got to remember it's not your fault. Okay. And some things may be your fault and you own that. Okay. That's a part of you being a self-aware and have self-accountability. But when you know that that behavior had nothing to do with you, don't, don't continue to entertain that level of conversation with that person. Just say, you know what? Have a great day. Just, just, just cut it off because generally a person with a, a, a narcissist personality, they need your energy in order to continue to get fed. Okay. And the more you go back and forth with them, the more they're, they're soaking up that energy because that's how they get fed in that personality. Okay. But if you cut off and you're not giving them your energy. You're not going back and forth with them. They got to find somebody else to do that with and they can, they can go and, and let somebody else, you know, go crazy with them. But you're just not going to do that. So you're going to set that boundary up like, okay, you know what? I didn't like when you did that such and such, such and such. So this is what we need to do instead of how you handled that. I, I, I didn't like the way you handled that. Well, I did that because of, you know what? God bless you. Have a great day. And, that, and let that be it. You know it wasn't your fault. You own the stuff that you need to own, but the stuff that, you know, let her own it. Let her take responsibility for it, okay? She doesn't want to take it. That's that's cool. That's fine. We're not going to continue to have this conversation because it's not fruitful, okay? So cut that conversation very, very short. And lastly, with self-discipline, you see that there's no structure in the home. You can't control her home, but what you can do is make sure that you instill discipline with your children, okay? So when you have chil have your children, and hopefully you are watching this video because you get your children when you're supposed to get them, okay? That's a whole different video. But if you when you have your visitation time with your kids, work extremely hard to make sure that they understand the purpose of structure, they understand the benefits of structure at their age level so that they can continue to have structure for themselves. Because what, what can happen is, if they don't have any structure at all, whether they're with you or with her, now they grow up to be these people that lack discipline, can't keep a job, they're gonna be always in your pockets because you never taught them discipline and structure, okay? And the benefits of discipline and structure. Work really, really hard to set up um, ways for them to have discipline, you know, extracurricular activities, making sure they're there every practice on time, you know, have expectations of them to have discipline because again, that personality may be bleeding over into them because this person lacks structure, this other parent is lacking structure, lacking discipline, and so now they're wishy-washy, they're all over the place. And we're not trying to do that, okay? Men, I need you guys to be men, I need you to stand up, you know, don't get weak in the knees with these people that don't have awareness, self-accountability, self-awareness, self-discipline. Uh, don't get weak in the knees and bend to that pressure. Stand up, be the man that you are, and, 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 and show up for your kids. Show up for your kids in that way and continue to protect your energy from people that, you know, trying to suck the energy from you. I hope that I made sense with this, with this video. If you have questions about how to co-parent with a difficult or high conflict co-parent, definitely um, look down below in the description. There's a power session right there for you and I'll be happy 
to help you navigate through that. I know it can be challenging. I know it can be difficult, but listen, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you, okay? So click down below in the description, click on that power session and, and book that session with me and I'll be happy to help you navigate through through that. It'll benefit not only you, but it will benefit your children. In the meantime, have an amazing day. Make sure you share this video with your guy. Um, you know, you may have a friend that's going through the same thing. Share this video. Share this video. You'll be happy you did. He'll be happy you did. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. We'll talk soon. Peace.